to and participation in relevant and appropriate adult education and learning opportunities is fundamental to personal, economic, and societal development. In reality, however, participation rates in adult education and learning opportunities in many countries are low, and there are very significant inequalities of access and participation both within and between nations. Low rates of participation and inequitable access therefore remain key challenges for adult education today. This video will explore global adult learning participation trends. During this video, please reflect on the following analysis questions. What are the adult learning participation trends globally, including participation in formal, informal, and non-formal learning? How do the global trends compare to the trends in Canada? What is the distribution of adult learning across the globe? And where are there inequalities or differences in adult learning participation globally? The information received from UNESCO's National Reports and Regional Synthesis Reports on the issues of participation and equity has revealed that, in general, formal adult education participation rates are positively correlated with a country's level of economic development as measured by per capita GDP. On average, they found that the more prosperous the country, the higher the adult learning participation rate. Additional factors that impact participation rates include the degree to which public policies are supportive of adult education, the extent to which governance and provision structures foster and promote adult participation in education and learning opportunities at work, how much communities attach social value to adult learning and education, and the level of political commitment to diverse learning cultures and regard for learning as a means to improve social cohesion. Within countries, levels of participation also vary according to socioeconomic, demographic, and regional factors. The statistics show lower participation rates for older workers and senior citizens, adults with low levels of education and low levels of skills, those working in low-skilled jobs and the unemployed, those from poorer socioeconomic backgrounds, immigrants, migrants, and ethnic minorities. These patterns are consistent across countries, but the extent of the disparities between such social groups varies from country to country. According to a report by the OECD, which includes 35 member countries that span the globe, in all countries, on average, only 8% of adults participated in formal education. Countries with the larger number of adults enrolled in formal education institutions include Australia, Belgium, New Zealand, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. On average, half of the participants in formal adult education also participate in non-formal education, an indication that these individuals take advantage of a variety of learning opportunities. The same report showed that on average, 13% of individuals with a tertiary education are enrolled in formal adult education, compared with 3% of individuals with low levels of education. Younger adults were much more likely to attend formal studies, for example, 17% of 25 to 34 year olds, then our older adults, only 2% of 55 to 64 year olds. The OECD report also found that engagement in passive modes of informal learning, such as learning by oneself, trying things out and learning by watching, or getting help, was almost a universal activity across all countries. Engagement in active modes of informal learning such as going on guided tours and learning by being sent to organizations, although frequent, was more unequally distributed, both within and between country populations. In particular, levels of formal education and skills were strongly related to the extent of active engagement in informal learning. These findings suggest that inequalities are more prevalent when active forms of informal learning are considered. The 2003 Adult Literacy and Life Skills Survey also found that 95% of the population in five of the six countries reported that they were engaged in some kind of informal learning activity over the cycle of one year. Also, according to the OECD, adults with higher levels of education attainment are more likely to participate in non-formal education than adults with lower levels of attainment. They can also expect to receive more hours of instruction in non-formal education during their work lives. On average, in OECD countries, individuals with a tertiary education will receive three times as many hours of instruction in non-formal education as those with low levels of education. Also in OECD countries, almost 75% of the expected instruction hours will be job-related non-formal education. On average, across the OECD, men can expect to receive about 10% more instruction hours in job-related non-formal education over their working lives than women.
Finally, according to the OECD, Canada ranks seventh among 21 countries when it comes to participation in non-formal job-related education, behind the United States, the United Kingdom, and Switzerland. Please reflect on the following synthesis questions. How would you explain the global adult learning participation trends, including participation in formal, informal, and non-formal learning? How would you describe the distribution of adult learning ac across the globe? How could we address the inequalities or differences in adult learning participation globally? And how do the global trends compare to the trends in Canada?